Good morning, and welcome to another Fast Tracks webinar. I'm Kisera, your host for today. I'm a loyalty strategist here at Fast Track Solutions. This morning, we'll be going over why customer accounts get locked and how you can unlock them in Loyal and Save. We'll be covering why a customer's Loyal and Save account could get locked, how to unlock a customer account in Control Center, and why this measure was put into place. Fast Tracks webinars are a weekly event and happen every Friday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we go over all aspects of Fast Track software. You can preview and sign up for all upcoming webinars, as well as view all previous webinars by going to our website, goftx.com, and choosing FTX Lifeline at the top of the page. Then, scroll halfway down the page and choose the View Webinars button. You can also take the more direct route by typing goftx.com slash webinars into your browser. You can sign up ahead of time and watch it stream live, or you can watch any streamed or previously recorded webinar in our archive at your leisure. We here at Fast Track Solutions are working hard to build a comprehensive video resource library of webinars. And we encourage you to watch our videos as many times as you'd like. Pause, take breaks, take notes, and absorb them all at your own pace. If you are unfamiliar with Loyal and Save, you can watch our previous webinar videos. Let's dive right in! The first topic I want to cover is how a customer's loyalty account can get locked. A customer's loyalty account will automatically lock after more than three purchases are made in one day. The customer will still earn points after this happens. However, they will not be able to redeem any points for an in-store discount. Customer accounts automatically lock to protect your store against potential loyalty fraud. We spent months testing the Loyal and Save program for any loopholes and opportunities for fraud and came up with solutions to help prevent those types of situations. So how will you know if a customer's account is locked? You'll get two types of emails. One is a purchase warning email, and the other, shown here, is the purchase warning limit reached email. The purchase warning email gives you a list of customers and employees who have reached the minimum sales count per day and could qualify as fraudulent. The purchase warning limit reached email is sent as soon as a customer has reached their limit or exceeds a higher number of purchases. You can set up your own limits and triggers in the settings of your Loyal and Save Merchant account. It's typical for lottery customers' accounts to get locked often. This is because they are more likely to make three or more sales in a row, and while most merchants don't reward customers for lottery purchases, the customer's ID is linked to their Loyal and Save account, thus letting the register know that they're Loyal and Save members and recording that on the receipt. Alrighty, let's get into the actual unlocking of a customer's account. I'm going to first log into Control Center, then, I'm going to Loyalty here on the side menu. Then Customer. Then Customers. Now from here, you have two options. You can either search for the customer's name up front, or you can filter this list to only show the locked accounts. To filter by locked accounts, simply click on Choose Account Locked here and select Locked. From here, you can also search for a specific customer's name. To unlock the account, you're going to need to modify their account. To get into the Modify screen, click the green and white pen button here. Now that we're into the account, you're going to toggle this option here to No. If you manage more than one store and multiple are locked, you can unlock all of them here as well. And you're done. Simply hit save and close and the customer's account is now unlocked. Well, that's all I intended to cover today. I hope you've learned some new things and I hope it helps you better use Loyal and Save. We covered why a customer's Loyal and Save account could get locked, how to unlock a customer's account, and why this measure was put into place. If you haven't yet viewed our first webinar on setting up Loyal and Save campaigns and balance types, you can find the recording on goftx.com slash webinars. That was the first real introduction to the program where we went over some of the most basic settings. Be sure to also check out the last Loyal and Save webinar we did, 
where we went over the different ways to sign up employees for Loyal and Save at both the store level and corporate level, as well as how to sign up customers for Loyal and Save using the POS system. If you have any questions about how to best utilize your Loyal and Save program, you can always email us at info at goftx.com. As a reminder, these Fast Tracks webinars are weekly events and happen every Friday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can view all upcoming webinars by heading over to our website, goftx.com, and choosing FTX Lifeline at the top of the page. Then, scroll halfway down the page and choose the View Webinars button. You can also take the more direct route by typing goftx.com slash webinars into your browser. This will load all of our previous webinars where you can watch the recordings, as well as upcoming webinars with the option to sign up for them. I hope everyone has a great weekend and a week ahead, and I hope you join us next week. Thanks for watching.